everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Emily. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Emily, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some more college advice and college info. Today's video is all about dorm essentials for your first year. So I got a question about this in my DM a couple of days ago, maybe a week or two ago, and I just thought it would be relevant to make a video on this because right now today's actually decision day while I'm recording this so I imagine you guys when stores reopen and if you're getting on Amazon you're going to be looking for a bunch of different things to get for your first year so here I have on my laptop as usual just a list of things that I think are very important slash non-negotiables for your first year if you're living in a dorm especially with one or more other people. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more college related topics, and let's get into the video. If you are going to be in a dorm room, and this is from my personal experience at my university, but if you're going to be in a dorm room that you're sharing with one, two, or three other people, you are going to need to maximize your space. I guarantee you there are going to be times when you literally feel like you are on top of each other and it's going to be very annoying, very irritating. So it, it can be very annoying and irritating because like I have my own room here and this is what I'm used to and then going to sharing half a room with someone is... It's not that fun, especially when you just kind of have, you want to have your own space. So what I'm telling you right now is that you probably will not have as much space as you think and you definitely want to maximize every inch and corner of your room to the best of your ability. The first thing that I'm going to talk about are your food preparation materials. Even though I had a meal plan, I had 19 meals a week, which was basically three meals a day way more than anybody needs in their first year of college, but I really didn't do a lot of cooking and food preparation in my dorm room, but there were a lot of times when I would go to the dining hall and I would just bring my food back and eat it, or I would make like little snacks here and there. You want to rent or buy a fridge toast microwave. Now, I was really appreciative of my university because they gave um, everybody an opportunity to rent a micro fridge, which is basically a microwave on top of a, fr of a mini fridge. And that was like 200 something dollars. So you just split the price with your roommate. I cannot imagine how much more difficult moving out would have been if I had a microwave or a fridge to lug back home. And it's just there when you move in and you leave it there when you move out and there's really no extra stuff. And I think it's a lot cheaper than just buying your own microwave. But if you're already have one just use it go for it and you definitely want to work that out with your roommates figure out who's paying for what because that is very important I would get your own set of cups and bowls and plates like dining plates um, definitely plastic uh, pro tip definitely go to Target they have a selection of pink light blue uh, teal dark blue and gray like bowls and plates and cups and they're all plastic and they're all 79 cents each sometimes when I would bring food back from the dining hall I would just transfer it to my own personal bowl so I could like warm it up and stuff and just relax and eat and also when you like make snacks or you're warming up like pizza rolls or something you usually aren't gonna put a styrofoam plate in the microwave so you definitely want to use those plastic things. Next, you definitely want to have snacks. Like, I'm not saying to bring your whole pantry from home, but girl, like, you, you are gonna wanna stock up because I'm telling you, like, sometimes I just wouldn't feel like going to dinner. And sometimes the snacks really just help you through, helps you, like, avoid having to stop at the dining hall on your way to the library or something and you also always want to have a case of water in your room because i would never pay a dollar fifty for a bottle of water just get your own case for like two three dollars from target and just keep it in your room one thing that my sister did with her roommate was that every um, case of water they would switch off so my sister Chelsea would buy one and then her roommate would buy the next one and just go back and forth just so that you're saving money and you're really working together with your roommates because you live with them. I had a couple reusable mugs. I do kind of have a mug obsession so of course I had them but those were really helpful for when I just wanted to make like a cup of tea or hot chocolate and relax. You definitely want a bin to keep all your dirty dishes because you don't just want them lying around like that just looks really dirty. Kind of got this like pink bin from Target. Target is 
the hookup, by the way. I got this pink bin from Target and I just used it and I put all my dishes in it when I was done eating and then whenever I felt like washing them, I would just take the whole thing with my soap and sponge and I would head down to the sink to wash it. I would definitely recommend having plastic forks and spoons and knives so that you don't have to keep rewashing and reusing the same ones. And I know this really isn't expensive because you can literally get packs from the dollar store, but usually every time I went to the dining hall or to the cafe, I would literally just get like two or three more extra spoons and forks than I really needed and I would just take them and keep them in my room. I guess that's kind of considered stealing but it's like somebody was going to use them anyway, right? Just don't like go in there and get a whole handful like... Next, I want to talk to you guys about the cleaning products that you're going to need because you will need cleaning products. And this is a mistake that I made um, when I first moved in. I felt like I didn't really bring enough. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go ahead and bring like Windex. You really don't need that. But the definite cleaning supplies that you are going to need are Lysol wipes. You're going to need a broom. You need a broom. A handheld vacuum cleaner. That is not like... I didn't really need that, but I think it just would have been a lot more helpful in cleaning and cleaning quicker. But the broom is non-negotiable because I hated when I came in from the shower and I would take off my bath shoes and it was just like dust or like crumbs on the floor. Like I just couldn't handle it. So my room got pretty dusty pretty fast and uh, the broom, I got a broom from the dollar store, which is still in my room to this day. So this is the broom from the dollar store. It's still pushing and working today. I actually use it for my room now. You're gonna want a soap and sponge for your dishes. Just get one of those little squeegee sponges and a little thing of Dawn, like that's all I use. I would also say no matter how many people are in your room, get your own trash can. Get your own trash can because you know what you put in the trash and you know when you're gonna take it out. You don't wanna rely on anybody else to take out the trash and you don't wanna be the one stuck doing it all the time. So I just recommend that you get Get your own trash can and that you get trash bags that fit the trash can this is a mistake that I made I had a very little trash can and I used full-size trash bags in it and it was like the trash can would get fuller than the bag so I ended up wasting bags because like the can couldn't hold it anymore but I was just like oh I'm just gonna have a little cute trash can like and everything's gonna go out as soon as it gets full but it was really annoying because I was wasting space in my trash bags. I would say get you an air freshener because one you're really not allowed to light candles in a dorm at least not in my dorm. Um, you're really not allowed to light candles and I feel like the spray air freshener just makes the room stuffy so one thing that i got this was in my recent rite aid haul with college essentials i got one of these airwick is it yeah i got this airwick plug and let me tell you this is a lifesaver and i'm still using it this is the same refill that i bought like three months ago and i'm still using it to this day and it's honestly like it's not that empty yet and it honestly just made the room so much more welcoming when i walk in because i felt like the windows have vents and there was no air conditioning so i just felt like the room got so musty and smelly sometimes especially when you have like food in there or you like you don't take out your trash which is like gross but it happens when like life gets the better of you and you forget to take out the trash so like that just really helps to like freshen up the room the next section is clothing these are the stuff this is the stuff that you're going to need for your clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I would say to get a, an organizer only if you have space for it. I understand that not everybody actually gets to see their room before they move in, but I had an organizer and it was very helpful because I got to put like my hats and my hair scars and then I got to put my outfit for the next day and it was connected to my hamper and it was amazing but it did take up a good amount of room in my closet. So even if I wanted to hang up like more stuff, it just wasn't possible. So you have to evaluate that for yourself and see how much more you'll use the organizer than the extra closet space. Speaking of the closet and hanging stuff up, you definitely are gonna need a good amount of hangers. I felt like in the middle of the semester, I just ran out of all my hangers and I kept having like more clothes and more clothes. So definitely just go to Goodwill or any thrift store and pick up like, they have brand new packs of hangers there for like a dollar to three dollars. So don't like spend too much money getting like the really cute ones from like whatever store I mean if you want to you can but if you're trying to save money which I imagine a lot of people are just go to Goodwill they have more than enough stuff that you need you need a hamper with wheels a hamper with wheels please get one like I 
I didn't understand this my first year because I was so excited that I just got that $10 deal on the organizer and hamper, but that hamper was a struggle when I had to take it to the laundry room. You guys saw how far my room was from the end of the hall, which is where the laundry room was, and sis, like, dragging that drawn down the hall was annoying like I felt so dumb and just long story short just get a hamper that you can roll down really easily or that it's just very portable and I'm just gonna leave it at that you definitely want to have a shoe rack and I feel like this is a given and you guys can probably see there's a shoe rack that I used right there and it's able to um disassemble I can disassemble it into pieces so it's easily to, it's easy to transport you don't want shoes just lying all over the floor. It's just, it gets annoying when you start tripping over your own stuff, trust me. You definitely want to get a pair of bath shoes. Bath shoes, bath shoes. And let me show you this. I used these, not these exactly, but sometimes I did use these as my bath shoes. You can literally just get any old pair of dollar store flip-flops or the Crocs. A lot of people use Crocs for that because they're like water resistant, I guess. The showers are disgusting. So you are not trying to put your bare feet on there. So they actually require you to have bath slippers. And I was like freaking out when I was moving in because I was like, I don't know where to get bath slippers. What are bath shoes? And just get an old pair of flip-flops. As long as your feet aren't touching the bottom of the showers, you're good. Get a shower caddy for the bath because you don't want to be like carrying your soap and your sponge and like whatever. I'll show you guys my shower caddy. My shower caddy right now, and as you can see, it's from Room Essentials at Target. My toothbrush is right there, but this actually was, I think, $10 or $6. And it came with a toothbrush and toothpaste holder. I just left it in AJ's car, so that's the only reason why it's not there, but it is so helpful and it'll make your life very easy. I would say to bring your clothes seasonally. So when you're moving in, don't bring like a little winter, a little spring, summer and fall. Like you definitely don't wanna do that. When you are moving in, you wanna bring your summer clothes cause it'll probably still be hot. And then just bring a couple, like one or two hoodies that will hold you over in case it gets cold. It's different if you live really far away, then you kind of have to bring more stuff, but I just don't find it that it was necessary to bring a lot of clothes. You just need a couple things and then you can reevaluate the next time you go home. Finally, last topic, if you're still watching, thank you so much and we're almost done here. My favorite, which is comfort and decorations. Like, so this is basically just the things that make the room yours or your side of the room yours. I would tell you that you need to get a rug or a bath mat or both. If you guys saw any pictures pictures of my room I had both because my roommate bought, bought a rug and I had a bath mat so my bath mat was there from when I came in from the shower and I was wet that's where I would stand and just kind of dry off and like wipe my feet off and put my shower caddy because it's soaking wet when you come out you also definitely want to get a rug for your floor I know that my floor was freezing cold in the morning because we didn't get a rug until like a few months into the semester so definitely get you a rug but get one that's easy to clean please and get one that doesn't shed because mine shed a lot and it was not easy to clean so just be mindful of that and go crazy for decorations I don't know what you're gonna put up but you need command strips do not get scotch do not get anything off-brand I'm so sorry to tell you this I know they're kind of expensive but command strips are the way to go and they made my life so easy I tried to go to Target and get the little scotch like off-brand command strips and they just didn't work it was so annoying because my stuff was literally just falling off the wall from using those. But my command strips held everything up from the first moment I put it on. It kept it up all day. And at my school, they have them at the bookstore, but obviously you can get them from anywhere. For your cute little wall decorations and all the things where you put up the first initial of your name or you spell out your name. Like, I'll show you guys my little decorations that I did on my wall. Um, those are also in my dorm tour. Honestly, just go watch my dorm tour. It'll just make your life so much easier so you can see all the things that I'm talking about be creative like just do you be different um find things that are cheap and just make it like oh wow I never would have thought to do that like I'll show you guys I don't know if you can see it but um over here I basically have all the things that used to be up on my wall in my room I have them here in my house now all of that said my final advice for this dorm essentials little sit down talk 
is to not waste money. I barely spent any money for decorations in my room. I know that for most of it, I was kind of just lucky because I got a lot of gifts when I was leaving and I did have a grad party. So like that was um, really helpful in getting me some money and gifts. All these lights that I have, like lights that I have, I took from my parents, like their Christmas decorations. I just took Christmas lights and I used them or I went to the thrift store, I got lights for like $10 or go to Target and like the $3 section, you'll find like string lights. Like I'm telling you, if you shop smart, you will not have to spend a lot of money to decorate your dorm room. Use a lofted bed to your advantage. Even though you guys have seen in some of my other videos, it has been so difficult to get on my bed. Like I literally fall off sometimes because I just didn't jump high enough. And I'm a little bit short, but I really think it's just the same. My roommate had the same problem. So we did have our beds lofted, but it was useful because I was able to stuff like a lot of junk underneath my bed and it just made storage so much easier. Bring extra storage bins because there's gonna be like a lot of miscellaneous stuff that you probably wouldn't expect to need storage bins. Like I used storage for my towels, I used for my cleaning, for my bath stuff, up, and I also used it for my books there's and my dishes so just bring those extra things target 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 just go to target and they'll have everything that you need finally 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 when you are moving in it is important or I would say knowledgeable wise to bring more stuff than less stuff because whatever you think isn't going to fit or you don't use you can always just send back home with your parents or whoever is dropping you off at school but if you bring less stuff it is obviously so much more of a hassle so I'd encourage you if you can take two cars up there fit everything that you can that you think you're going to need don't overdo it but fit what you can and what you don't think will be necessary in the room just leave it just leave it and your parents will take it home hopefully and not leave you with a bunch of crap that you don't need. Hopefully you got some information that you didn't know or that you didn't know that you needed. Comment some stuff that you're definitely gonna be bringing when you move into college, especially if you're going to Thomas Jefferson University, I'd love to hear. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.